Hello and welcome to today's video. Thanks for clicking on it. Uh, that still sounds weird. Today we're going to be talking about gear ratios. Yes. If your tip is get a hot pressure washer, we know. <laughs> you may have seen our cool racing stuff videos. Today we're doing a spring test. If you saw our short from the other day, we talked about calculating final drive. We're going to start with that and then we're going to talk about RPM change and how we pick a gear maybe while we're at the racetrack if we need to change gears. We're going to start out, we're using set three as an example for today's video. Set three is a 3125, so that means the big gear has 31 teeth, the little gear has 25 teeth. We're going to start with our high ratio and calculating the final drive. So for our high ratio, the big gear is on top. So that's 31 divided by the little gear. The little gear is 25. We look at our final drive equation here. Top gear over bottom gear times our ring and pinion. My ring and pinion is a 486. That is a pretty common quick change ring and pinion. Uh, the other common one you'll see is a 411 on a dirt light model or a dirt modified. We're going to go ahead and do the math here. Start with 31 divided by 25. That gives us 1.24. We're going to take that times our ring and pinion. Gives us a 6.0264. We're going to round that up to 6.03. So if we look at our gear chart, this is a PEM gear chart, but you can get these from almost any quick change gear manufacturer, rear end manufacturer. They're all going to have a gear chart with their part numbers, the number of teeth, and then the final drives. And we're looking for set three, which is right here, 2531. And the high ratio for a 486 is a 603. Now we'll do the same thing for the low ratio. Generally, I don't run the gears as a low ratio. In this case, the little gear is on top, 25 divided by 31 times 486. Again, if you have a gear chart, you don't have to do the math here. It's done for you and it's in the chart. Clear out my calculator. 25 divided by 31 gives us 0.8064561 times our ring and pinion, which is 4.86, gives us a 3.919 check that against our gear chart and they have 3.92 so you're correct we can also calculate rpm change we're going to get by changing gears so we'll use uh we'll use if we were to flip the top and the bottom we'll go from high to low just as an example here so if we're running let's say 7,000 rpm that'll be our our rev that we have on track with it in high and the ratio is again we're going back here is 603 and we're going to take that times ratio number two see how much rpm we'd gain by switching the two gears in the quick change by taking the top gear and putting it on the bottom and the bottom gear and putting it on the top this would be little gear on top. 7,000 divided by 6.03. It gives us 1,160.86235. Take that times our new ratio. We would now go, so if we were to switch the top and bottom, in this case, we would have gone from 7,000 RPM to 4,500 and 50 RPM. That'd be a huge rev change, right? By swapping the gears. Now, we can also use this equation to instead calculate what ratio we want to run, okay? To do that, we have to do a little bit of algebra. So, let's do a little bit of algebra. I'm gonna change markers here, and I'm gonna start with my original equation here. I want to isolate this part of the equation. I want to solve for ratio two. So to do that, I can take both, half of my, both halves of my equation and divide by this right here. Divide by red one, divide by ratio one, divide by red one, 
These are going to cancel out. Bam, bam. We've now isolated ratio two. So our new equation is, I'll do it right here. Ratio two equals rev two divided by rev one over ratio one. Okay, so let's do an example. Let's say that we're using this same example and we're running 7,000 RPM. Okay, so that'd be rev one, 7,000 RPM. And we have a 603 in the car. And instead of 7,000 RPM, we want to run 6,500 RPM. Use our calculator to do that math real quick. So that's 7,000 divided by 6.03. That gives us 1,160.86, okay? So now, to get our new ratio, we take 6,500, pardon my bad handwriting, divided by 1160.86. Gives us a new ratio of 5.5, 5 5.60. Got to do a little rounding on that. 5.60. So now we can pull up our gear chart, knowing that we have a 486 ring and pinion. And we've got a 603 in the car, and we want to go to a 5.60. So 5.63 is set 17. That would work. Yeah, that's gonna be our closest. We can run a 5.55, which is set 7A, or set 17, which is a 5.63. So that would be a 23, 20, uh, 21, 24, or a 19, 22. Those are gonna be the two options that we have. So 5.55 or 5.63, that's as close as we can get to that right there to hit that 6,500 RPM. If we run the 5.63, we'll be a little closer to 7,000. If we run the 5.55, we'll be a little under 6,500 RPM. Now, we can double check ourselves by running it through this equation right here. This stays the same, but I'm going to change out the new ratio and see what our RPM should be. 5.63. Okay, and that'll be, this'll be Option number one, clear the calculator, 7,000 divided by 6.03, that gives us that number right there. See, that part of the equation actually is the same, times 5.63, we're going to be running with that gear, 6,535 RPM. So, if we want to run... The lower of the two, bottom option, the 5.55, we could do the same math. Getting a lot of numbers on the board, I know that. <laughs> so again, 7,000 divided by 6.03 gives us 1160.86, same thing as here, right? Times 5.55. Uh, just like we suspected, we'd be a little bit under 6,500 RPM. In this case, 6,443. So, if we're running a 603 gear and we're turning 7,000 RPM and we'd rather turn 6,500 RPM, we can take this equation, solve for ratio two, take 6,500 divided by our original RPM and our original Gear ratio, we do the math on that, yeah, it gives us a new ratio of 5.60. That's what we're looking for. That ratio on well, my gear chart doesn't exist. So I have to look at the ratios in that area. Two ratios I have are a 5.63 and a 5.55. So we can use this again, this equation, to do the math to see what rev we would turn with each of these gears in. Right, so 7,000 divided by 6.03, this is the rev that we're turning and the gear that we have in it. 
if we run a, if we go to a 563, we'll have gone from 7,000 to 6535. If we instead choose the 555 gear, we do the same math, 7,000 divided by 603, that's our re original revs and our current ratio, times our new ratio gives us 6443. So that's the range that we can pick based on the gears that we have available, about 100 RPM split between those two gears. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.